got a thing for you. I got a thing for you. I got a thing for you. I can't let it go. You're so mysterious. You got me curious. When I think of the both of us. Together all alone British I Airways need a cage I need a leash Now arriving at gate 12 Now that we woken up The beast Yeah, yeah I wouldn't lie to you Unless you want me to I got a thing for you I can't let it go I got a thing for you I got a thing for you I got a thing for you I can't let it go Hi. Rooms are thirty nine bucks day rate, twenty nine bucks overnight. Well, it's cheapest to stay overnight. Damn right. Days are for sex. Sex costs money. You want a room or not? Yes, sir. Uh, uh, for one week, please. That'll be two hundred three bucks. In advance. Okay. That'll be uh, unit 13. Check out as noon Thursday next. No, I'm, I'm fine, actually. Thank you. Open gate six. You all right? Yeah. Glad he could make it, bro. What the fuck did he come to Chicago anyway? Not enough trade back home for expansive lake views and corn fed American pussy. Why else? <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> You're on the street long enough to get any. <laughs> Yeah, I'm here, Reese. You said you'd make it worth my while. Listen all. Somebody is a dog track. And they think it was me. But you're innocent. Of course I am. The bad guys wore masks. Plus, one of them got accidentally killed by the cops. <laughs> 
Crooked cops gambling on duty, that's what fucking happened. <laughs> fucking bastards. Oh. Expressway. Reese, what the fuck are you doing? Come on, man, and fuck up, will ya? You think it's still there? It's not there. And where is it? Well, it landed on this guy's car. You know, a white dude. Okay, what kind of car? An old car, uh, old old station wagon. Wood on the sides. You know? Yeah, wood on the sides. <laughs> the shower first. No, you go ahead. Don't be down, Sam. It'll all work out. You want me to pick you up at work? No, I'll meet you. The walk will do me good. Crazy. Fucking keep it down. Chicago, Reese. 
The car capital of the northern USA, and you expect me to find one fucking car? Forget it, your boy got lucky. Listen to me. This Barney came into his luck only two days ago. The trail's still as hot as a street or a snatch. He'll use cash, and that's what'll set him apart from the other worker ant folks. First thing he'll do is buy a new car, cash, and that's how you get him. Now the split's 50-50. Are you in or out? I'm here, answer. I'll give it a shot. The sales manager. Yeah, that's me. Can you help me? Sure as hell try. If somebody comes in here and buys a car for cash. What do you do? Cream my Calvins. <laughs> What official things do you do? Well, since there's no bank, there's no loan application, no insurance papers to fill out, and no loan officer, you see? About the only thing we do on a cash deal is document state tax and licensing. How? Oh. It's a form. Here. But I gotta tell you, cash is rare. Once, maybe two times a year do I see a cash deal. Does this document method of payment? Right there on that line, see? You either list the bank, the finance company, or you stamp it cash. Where do these go? Chicago DMV, Central Branch. Thanks, buddy. Hey, you're welcome, you rude fucking goomba, you. I can't imagine why he's late, Mr. Dale. He knew we were meeting at 10.30. I believe this is the very nature of our problem, Mrs. Phelan. Buying a house is a major responsibility. I do not think Mr. Phelan is facing his commitment in a responsible manner. You and your husband are 120 days behind in payments. This constitutes serious arrears to an institution of this small size. Mr. Dale, we know where we stand. We've been unemployed. We're both working now. We'll catch up. You're asking much of this institution to reschedule your loan. Especially in view of Mr. Phelan's tardiness, both in meeting Leslie. payments and today's appointment. Where have you been? I'll tell you later. Mr. Dale, our banker. Let me guess, you being the weenie that you are, you're not going to reschedule our payments. Is that right? What? What did you say? Under the circumstances, I do not believe this institution can accommodate you, Mr. and Mrs. Phelan. No, Sam, talk to him. This is our house. I'm afraid you'll have to pay the full amount you owe, or Midwest Savings and Loan will be forced to finalize foreclosure proceedings. Mr. Dale, please. We have paid on that house every month on time for five years. Doesn't that count for anything? What exactly is the full amount? With penalties and interest, comes to $7,603.12. Okay. One thousand, two thousand, three thousand, four thousand, five thousand, six thousand, seven thousand, and one, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, you got four singles. Thank you. Seven thousand six hundred and five dollars. Leslie. You owe me a buck eighty-eight buster, and I want it by noon tomorrow. Where did you get it? Straight from heaven, baby. <laughs> no, really, Sam, where? Uh, uh, okay, I, I was on the Dan Ryan Expressway, right, and a police chase went by, and it just crashed onto the hood of my car. <laughs> did it dent the car? Jesus, honey, forget that. Come on. <laughs> oh, my God. How much is there? I don't know. 
You want to find out? How much? How much? <laughs> okay, it comes to six hundred eighteen thousand one hundred twenty-seven dollars. <laughs> Wait, plus seven thousand six hundred five dollars. We get that asshole, Mr. Dale, which makes. Did you see his face? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I thought he was gonna pee in his pants when you called him a weenie. <laughs> How's about when you hit him up for the buck eighty-eight? <laughs> Buster. Buster. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Uh, counting the seven thousand six hundred and five dollars we gave the bank, totals six hundred twenty-five thousand seven hundred thirty-one dollars. My God, we're rich. Sam, we can't keep it. Well, yes, we can. No, it's probably dirty money. Yeah, of course it is. It's cash. I don't want some Colombian drug lord kicking our door down. Hey, nobody saw Les. All right, if I hadn't picked it up, it would have just laid on the ground for somebody else to find. It's free and clear money. Nobody in this world knows we have it. <laughs> what if it was robbed from a bank or something? So? So what? Banks are insured. Ah, oh, come on. What are we going to do, huh? You want to play John Q. dipshit citizen and turn it over to the Chicago PD? Those crooks in blue, you know, they just steal it for themselves anyway. No, 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 ha, baby, no way. This, this is our money. All right, God sent it to me right out of the sky. Out of a, a million car hoods in Chicago, this suitcase hit mine. That's fate. Well, they would be insured, right? Yeah, of course they would. Come on, this is our money, baby. And the mortgage is paid up. Think of all the stuff we could finally buy. New furniture... Paint the house, huh? Well, huh? Leslie, over six hundred thousand dollars. All right, I'll suspend anything we want. All our dreams come true, baby. You're right. Yeah. Oh my God. <laughs> what first? Well, there's a pretty big dent in the car. New car. Yeah. <gasps> Why you saying excuse me? Not to follow me saying that excuse me, please. Oh my god, now I'm feeling up an ass, so I put down the glass and I put it real fast. Real, real fast. Well, it be, man? I'm looking for Zeke. Wrong joint. No Zeke here. Come here. Back there. Thanks. Told I could buy tools. Well, I've got tools. What's your preference? Sears, Stanley, Snap On? I was thinking more along the lines of Ruger, Smith and Wesson, you know? <laughs> Peace. 
to the motor vehicle department. Chairs, the dining room set, um, sofa, big screen, plasma, TV. Oh, what about a bed? Mm, what about a bed? Well, we definitely gotta have a bed, don't we? Definitely. Right this way. Deliver our stuff tomorrow, between one and four. All right. <laughs> Give me that. Yeah. Nice. Thanks. Thank you. Tell with the devil, I sell my soul to you. Mind ain't level, my heart's unsettled Foot in the grave, foot on the pedal To hell with the devil, I sell my soul to you To hell with the devil, I sell my soul to you The storm won't stop the wheels of this hot machine The storm won't stop the wheels of this hot machine Fight through the flood, the rain and the mud With the pulse and the blood, the force of the metal To hell with the devil, I sell my soul to you To hell with the devil, I sell my soul to Can I help you? Yeah, excuse me. Is that your Toyota? No, it's my wife's. Why? Who is it, Glenn? I don't know who the hell he is. Who the hell are you? Excuse me. Hey, motherfucker! What? You drive around, you see a nice car, you want to get in my face and ask me one question? What? You know, it looks like to me you casing the joint. Get him, baby. You, know, you better get the fuck out this neighborhood before I bust a cap in your white boy ass. Because you don't want this. He don't want this. He don't want no, this? No, he don't want this. Listen up, Glenn the fucking plumber. You blacks think you all so fucking bad. Well, you aren't. You think all white people fear you. We don't. Now shut your fucking mouth. Or I'll put you in the fucking emergency ward. Got it? Yeah, I want no regular white boy. Thank <laughs> you. 
Hi. Mr. Bearshe Tenderfeet. No, 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 no. Pronounce this way, please. Bahadur Tedindra Preet Singh. I can help it, you please? Yeah, help it, me. Um, it's a nice Chevy you got there. Oh, yeah, my Chevrolet. Great American automobile. I like it too much. Chevrolet. Big favourite with you Arabs, is it? Arab? That's bullshit. I'm sick from India. I don't make no 911. I make 99. My beautiful store. Mr. Melvin Goldberg. Who wants to know? I'm from Bavarian Motorworks. The what? BMW. Bavarian Motorworks? Your new car there. Yeah, well, so? I'd like to ask you a couple of questions, if you don't mind, about your new Beamer. No, thanks. Beat it. My company is offering $100 for a simple five minute interview. Come inside. <laughs> so, uh, how long have you had the car? Eight days. You like the BMW? Hell yes. Don't everybody? Why, even those goddamn Mercedes fools are changing the BMW now. <laughs> yeah. Say, aren't you gonna write stuff down? I've got a good memory. How long did you say you financed the car? I didn't say. Why the hell do you want to know that anyhow? Well, just helps us to determine buying trends, that sort of thing, you know. Twenty-four months. It says you paid cash. That's it. Who the hell are you? Get the fuck out of my house! Sit down. Fuck you. Get the hell out, or I'll throw your ass out. Uh. Oh, fuck. Where's the suitcase, Goldberg? The money. Where the fuck is it? I'm sorry, Mr. I'll replace it the cash, I promise. So it was you. I did it. But I'll put it back, honest to God. What, you mean you spent it all? You spent half a million. No, no. Talk to me, you motherfucker. I work for Jen and I stole the money. I admit it. 
But I did because they extort their customers. They're ripoffs, man. They're cheating the public. But I'll pay it back, though, honest. Who's your old car station wagon? No way. Are you a cop? If you're fucking lying, I'll kill you, and I'll kill you fucking slowly. I traded a pickup truck for that BMW, a, a, a 1993 Ford F-150. Call him, mister. Yeah, I stole the money, but not with a suitcase. I used a paper bag. Good life and the fulfillment of our wildest dreams. To my husband, may he ever be so lucky. <laughs> See me. You should do that more often. <laughs> got into us. Gosh. Morning, Mr. Phelan. Morning, Mrs. Phelan. Sleep well? Yes, I did. <laughs> Ready for breakfast? Yeah. Breakfast too, huh? Oh, indeed. Nothing's too good for Mr. Lucky Sam Phelan. Eat. Oh. I'm headed for the shower. Hi, Mr. Sam Phelan. Yeah, you're early. We weren't expecting you till noon. I doubt you were expecting me at all. <laughs> you're the, uh, the chunky chicken franchise rep, aren't you? Uh, no. Oh, okay, I'm sorry, <laughs> man. I thought, uh... <laughs> what can I do for you? I'd like to talk to you about your new Range Rover. I'm from the factory. Yeah, right. Um, it's kind of bad timing. I'd only take a minute. Uh, yeah, okay, come on in. Just a minute, though. Sure, yeah. Thank you. Take your seat. I was just about to make a coffee if you want one. No, thanks. Looking to invest? Oh, yeah, my wife and I, we want to start our own business. <laughs> yeah. Recently come in some cash, did you? Uh, listen, mister, I don't have a whole lot of time here, so... Sorry. So, uh, how are you enjoying the Range Rover? What do you mean, how it handles? Stuff like that? It's great. We love it. How does it compare to your old car? <laughs> it's no comparison. <laughs> what was your old car? It's a uh, Buick station wagon. Piece of crap. Was it the one with the wood on the sides? You said you're from the factory. What factory? Okay, listen, uh, I think you better leave now. This business you want, you looking to invest, what, half a million in cash? Yeah, listen, I'm actually expecting somebody, so I gotta, I gotta clean up. I'm gonna have to ask you to go. I'm not leaving, Sam. What do you mean you're not leaving? 
Who the hell do you think you are, huh? I'll, I'll, I'll call the police. smoke in this house. You have something of mine. I've never seen you before. Have it. Most of it, that is. Uh, we we spent some. What are you talking about? We don't have his Save money. Save it, Leslie. I know the truth. How much did you spend? About seventy thousand, I think. Where's the rest? Some's here, and some's in the bank. In the bank? Several banks, actually. Avoiding the IRS, huh? Smart. Dangerous, though. Funny how money corrupts, isn't it? OK. Here's what we're going to do. Sam, go we'll get the rest of the cash left here in the house, OK? Go on, do it now. Leslie, gather up receipts. You and I will total up exactly how much you spent. You do keep receipts, don't you? $25,731. Not a bad haul. Not a bad haul at all. <laughs> OK, it's noon. Banks need time to gather up large sums of cash. So while Leslie's figuring and I'm counting, you get on the phone, Sam, and call every one of those banks you put my money in. Tell them you'll be down there today to pick up that cash. You got it? What's your total? 74,316 dollars 47 cents is more than the 70,000 that you said, isn't it? I guess I forgot about some of the other stuff. It's perfectly natural. And everything looks so nice too. That big screen TV, the Range Rover, looks really good. Thank you. Yeah, it's hard. So 625,761 gross, minus the 74,316.47 
equals 551,414 dollars and 53 cents. Correct. 551,414.53 cents is the figure we'll concentrate on. Got to get all that outstanding cash back, right? Ready, Sam? They only got through to a couple of them. Oh, that's okay. We can call them on the way there. Let's go visit those banks. Subtract these figures from our running total. 54,557. 13,660. 83,000. 15,236. What's that like? 268,184 dollars and 53 cents. Where's the rest? We left some with my mother. Oh, with mummy. What could be safer than mummies? Yeah, I've been busy little bees, haven't you? Good job I got here when I did. How much? 265,000. Whew. Sure trust mummy, don't we? So, 265,000. Subtracted from our new balance of 268,184.53 leaves, 3,184.53. Where's that gone? Loose change, right? That kind of money goes for candy, cigarettes, that kind of stuff, right? We don't smoke. No? That's too bad. You don't mind if I smoke in the house, do you? Thank you very much. Right, let's get back to business. We'll add this 3,184.53 to the 74,316.47 deficit we already have. That's the money you spent before I got here, right? That comes to, what, $77,501. It's been a long day. I'm hungry. Leslie, why don't you slip into the kitchen there and cook us up a nice meal? That way we don't have to go out anymore. We can all stay together. Doesn't that sound nice? Go on. Mm. 
very good, Leslie. I liked it. But what was it? Eggplant, tofu and veggie steaks. Veggie steaks? We don't eat red meat. Why not? I'm scared of getting mad cow disease. Right. I think I'll go and watch a little big screen TV. Then we all better turn in. Got to be up bright and early for Granny tomorrow. You're sleeping with us? Is that an invitation? <clears throat> you know what I mean. Yes, I do. You can sleep on the couch. Thanks. What have you gotten us into? Me? Yes. Oh, now you point the finger. That's funny, you didn't mind spending it yesterday. I'm calling the police. What? Hey, put the phone down. Put the, put, put the phone, give, give me that. Stop it, Shh. give it to me. Shh. Look, let's just wait it out. Okay, if we call the cops now, they'll ask questions, lots of questions. There'll be trouble and we'll lose what little we have left. Hey, after tomorrow, he'll be gone. We'll still have all the stuff we bought and... You know, some, some pretty cool stuff. It's not so bad. No, this is what I was afraid of. Shh. We should never found that goddamn money. Let's just go to sleep. Mom, you know that carton we left with you? We need it back. Honey, you said you needed it kept safe. I hid it, dear. That's fine, Mom, but we need it back now. Really, sweetie, it couldn't be safer than where it is. What couldn't be safer? Uh, well, whatever's in the box, of course. Go and get it. Mom, please go get the box. Who the hell do you think you are? I'm one of those people you never meet, as long as you're a straight up honest citizen. No, what would you have done if we turned the goddamn money over to the police? Huh? But you didn't, did you, Sam? So there's no way of ever knowing that. Hey, give it here. Give it to me. You took some, didn't you, Mummy? How much did you steal? Hey, come on, that's enough. I didn't steal a cent. I just borrowed a little. Mother. How much did you borrow? About $600. It was a loan. I needed it. I'm on fixed income. I was going to put it back. Mother, we left that with you for safekeeping. I just took a little peek, honey. There was so much. It wasn't yours. Well, it wasn't yours either, was it? <sighs> now, here's a lesson. When it comes to cash, nobody can be trusted. Like mother, like daughter, eh? <laughs> Switch the engine off and give me the key. Stay put. Both of you. Sam, what are we doing? Sam. 
Sam, what are we doing? I don't know, Les. All right, I don't even know what we should be doing. But Christ, are we even in the right here? I don't even know anymore. Of course we're in the right. He's forcing us to do something against our will. Is he though, huh? Because we were the ones who took the money. You know, we decided to keep it. We knew it wasn't ours. Hi then. I'm just checking out. Um, you owe me fifty-eight dollars. We don't get no refunds. What? No refunds. I paid you two hundred and three dollars for seven days. Twenty-nine dollars a day. I only stayed five days. You owe me fifty-eight dollars for the two days I won't be staying. What do you got? Shit in your ears, Mister? I said no goddamn refund. Now get on down the road before I call the cops. <coughs> oh. Uh. Uh. Oh. Goodness. Next, I'll break your arm, your leg, and finally your neck. Can't sell the money you owe me, and hand it over. Aren't you forgetting something? What? You are. You want a receipt? Oh, my dear. What about my dear? Uh, have a nice day. Good. I will. Thank you. Yeah, same to you. Okay, let's go, Leslie. Okay, I need to go back out. But I need you both to stay in the house. Can I trust you to do that? Yeah. You see blood on his shirt? Uh huh. He did something awful to someone in that hotel today. It's crazy. We gotta call the police. We should have called him yesterday. We can do it tonight after he's asleep. I found them. Oh, fucking nice work, bro. I recovered $547,433. That's fucking brilliant, Pike. Fuck me. There's more of it. Yeah? How much? 78,298. Still outstanding. Where is it? They spent it. Well, that's okay. Fuck it. We still got 250k apiece, right? No. I'm going after the rest. What do you mean? Come on, bro, give me a fucking break. Please, just this once. But I've spent it, bro, it's gone. It's not gone. It's just been misplaced. I'll get it replaced. Okay. Have it your fucking way. As usual. Do what you fucking like. I'll see you when I get out of this shithole. Let's talk about the rest of the money you owe. Hey, what are you talking about? Huh? <coughs> what are you talking about? We spent the rest, right? It's gone. And now we have to get it back. The outstanding deficit is $78,290. What? Take the Range Rover, take the new furniture, take it all. I don't want your goods, Sam. I'm not a merchant. I'm more like a banker. I require cash. We don't have $78,000. 78,298. Well, we don't have that either. You know what? Can't you just leave? You have 500,000 plus. 
Just leave us alone. We're, we're sorry we spent some. We thought God smiled down on us. We were wrong. We're sorry. Nothing's free, Leslie. Not in this life. You knew that money wasn't yours. You spent. Now you have to pay. What are you gonna do? Kill us? We don't have it. Let's not discuss consequences. Let's just focus on how you're going to get my money paid back. Hmm. Good food, Leslie. Better if it was me, but good all the same. Sam cooked it. Hmm. Real domestic, yes, yeah, Sam? Okay, there's something I need you both to do for me now. Yeah, what's that? I need both your personal cell phones. Go on, then. Thank you. to the kitchen and bring me the phone, please. Yeah. I noticed another jack. Where does that one lead? In the bedroom. Can you bring me the one from the bedroom, Leslie? Yes. Thanks. We're coming to the tricky part of this recovery action here. And I want to keep it private, don't you? We're getting to a place now where you and Leslie have to dip into your own pockets. And usually when that happens, people want to make a call to somebody. A strange thing. It's human nature, I guess. They always want to make that call. Now, why don't you two tell me a plan for getting the rest of my money? We don't have a damn plan. We can sell the Range Rover, it's worth about 70,000. Sell the new furniture and, I don't know, borrow the rest from friends. <laughs> As to borrowing from friends, good luck. The Range Rover, okay. But the furniture, no, it takes too long. I'm giving you five days from right now. And if we can't do it by then? No consequences in advance. You learn consequences only when a line is crossed and a decision is made. Uh-huh. Oh, yeah. Uh-huh. It's in pretty decent shape. I'll give you 47 for it. What? Wait, wait a second. What are you talking about? Huh? We paid almost 70000 a week ago, cash? Yeah, yeah. No. You see, I sold you a new vehicle, and you brought me back a used one. It's only got 119 miles on it, for Christ's sakes. I'll tell you what I'm gonna do, and this is my best deal ever. I'll give you 53000 for it, and I'll throw in the old car for you. How does that sound, huh? Can you deliver it in cash? So 53,000 from 78,298 leaves an outstanding deficit of 25,298. Can't you just give us a goddamn break? Do you mean will I assume your debt? The answer is no, I won't. Look, we can't get any more. Okay. You still own a house. God damn it, Leslie! You are not getting our house, Buster. I don't want your house, Leslie. I was thinking more along the lines of uh, 
cash refinancing? No, not our house. How about we stop this crap now? This shit has gone far enough. Sam, this fucker is full of shit. What can he do in broad daylight? Let's just get out, Sam. Walk away. Get out the damn jalopy. Leslie, you make a decision now. And you live with the consequences after. You remember that? Huh? Fuck you. Final threat, Sam. That's all. He's bullshit. Get in the car, Leslie. He's bluffing. Get in the car. He's Start a goddamn here. Let's bully. Go. We can walk away. Start Call here. the police. Let's go. Where? Wherever your house is financed. Mr. and Mrs. Phelan, is it your wish that this gentleman be privy to your personal financial affairs? Yeah, sure. Why the hell not? What was the original purchase price of the house? The original purchase price was $200,000. Purchased when? Five years ago. What is the amount of their monthly payment? $647.70 a month. Term of loan? 29 years. How much down? Well, 10%, uh, $20,000. So, a down payment being the same as equity. The day they bought their house, they had 20,000 equity. And they still have that amount today, yeah? Well, uh, yes, technically, yes. They've been paying monthly payments, faithfully for the last five years, which comes to $38,862, right? Uh, $38,862, that's, that's correct. So discounting interest, they paid down about $13,000 on their mortgage debt, is that right? Uh, <laughs> Why, well, yes, that, that's uh, just about right, yes. Yes, yeah, so they still owe $167,000. Now, during these past five years, the property has appreciated. Well, yes, of course, but we can't be certain how much without a, uh, an appraisal. Yeah, nevertheless, it has appreciated. Let's use a conservative figure, say 20000 over five years. That's a measly, well, $4,000 per year. I wouldn't say that's too optimistic, would you? No, well, that sounds reasonable. Okay. So, discounting appreciation with their original down payment, they have $53,000 equity in the house. And as such, I see no reason why this institution should not lend them the $25,298 they seek, less than half their existing equity. Uh, well... Uh, well, uh, I don't... Yeah, I... we quit our jobs. You're unemployed? Yeah. Are you familiar with the no dog home equity loan? Oh, yeah, of course. Yeah? You see, a no dog requires no employment, no income or assets. Lenders do not verify any information beyond a credit profile and value of the property. Of course. The Phelans have equity. They could easily get a loan equal to 80%. Well, I don't know that this bank has ever issued a no-doc loan. I don't know that we can do it. Their credit rating? Listen, <laughs> I think you're missing a big opportunity here, Mr. Dink. That's Dale. Mr. Dale. Yeah, whatever. We could go elsewhere for the money. And I'm sure your branch manager would be very unhappy to lose the business. Especially in view of the fact that this institution holds the first mortgage. But it's urgent. These people need the cash today. Name your terms. At today's prices, they have more equity than necessary. More money for the bank 
If you decide to foreclose, you get me meaning? It's a sweet deal. There might even be a promotion in it. Somebody. Well, perhaps I could consider a small home equity loan, you know, for urgent home repairs. High interest. Well, of course, yeah. Well, we take the uh, fair market value times 80% loan to value. That equals $86,000 minus the compound interest over the term of the loan. I can lend $11,421.89. That's the maximum on the pure equity loan of an unemployed applicant. They'll take it. Make a bank draft of cash. They'll redeem it here. So, Sam. How are you going to get the remaining $13,876.11? Why do you keep at this? The money isn't even yours anyway. That's where you're wrong. The money is mine. And I will keep it until a superior power takes it from me. And so the question remains, how will you pay me the $13,876.11 that you owe me? There's your fucking 11 cents. Thank you, Leslie. Why can't you just leave us alone? I understand your frustration. I do. But I must have the full amount. We don't have it, and there's no place else we can get it. So you're just gonna have to kill us or whatever it is. Don't... No, no, slow down. Look, everybody's overreacting. Let's just all settle down, okay? We'll have a nice meal. We'll watch some big screen TV. And in the morning, we'll work something out, okay? Still have another four days. For a midnight stroll. I understand this is your first experience in a situation like this. So I'm going to overlook tonight's indiscretion. But understand this until I get my money, you will not leave this house. You will not phone anyone or meet anyone unless I give my permission. Is that understood? Is that understood? Yes. Leslie? Yes, fucking yes, okay? Now get back to bed. Morning. Everybody sleep well? this I did a little shopping while you people were sleeping meat 
Why don't you slip over to the uh, stove there, Sam? Uh, cook up some eggs and meat for Leslie and me. What? Eggs, Sam. I want eggs. Are you going to cook or not? I'll do it. No, I want Sam to do it. He's a domestic man, aren't you, Sam? What are you doing? Stop it. I just want to do it, that's all, Leslie. This is ridiculous. Oh, it's elementary school crap. What's it going to be, Sam? Whatever. Eggs, no big deal. And meat, Sam. Make mine scrambled, will you? How do you like your eggs, Leslie? Fuck you. It's easy for a woman, isn't it? No physical threat, no fear of reprisal. You can just simply open your big, beautiful mouth and say whatever foul things comes into your head. All right? Come sit by me. in there and rob it. Bring me the money back. Wait, what? Are you crazy? Man, I can't do that. Oh, shit. You don't know what you can do, Sam. You'll be surprised how easy it is. You see, the majority of men are cowards. Isn't that right, Sam? All women are cowards. Fear of this gun will drive them to obey your every command, just as you obey mine. Now get in there and do it. Rumper room time's over, Sam. I want me fucking money. Now get in there and do it. All right, all right. Just, just relax. Sam. Your phone. Oh, God. Hello? Sam, it's me. I want you to keep the line open. I want to hear everything that's going on in there, you understand? If you get ugly, or if the line goes dead, your wife goes dead with it, you understand? Good in it. <laughs> Give me the gun, Sam. Count the money for him, Leslie. He seems a little nervous. Let's see how you did, Sam. How much, babe? 464. 464? That's not a great score, Sam. Why don't you get the coins? What do you mean, why didn't I get the coins? I didn't know I was supposed to. Oh, you got that from the movies, right? That's what stupid movies get you. Money is money, you get it all. 
Okay. That's 464 subtracted from a balance of 13,876. That comes to 13,412 left to get. Your turn. Not me. Why? Because you're a woman. That vagina gives you special privileges, does it? You American women, you all want equality. Oh, I'm giving it you. And get the change this time. Leslie. Same deal. You get cute in there. Sam, he pays the price. Okay. Physical power over others tastes sweet in the mouth. Especially for a woman. Who doesn't often get the experience. Feeds you like mother's milk. It's almost sexual, isn't it? Where'd you get those? I took them. Oh, you shoplifted. <laughs> shoplifted? <laughs> total haul is $2,128.16. Subtracted from our outstanding total leaves, $11,283.84. Ain't no great shakes, folks. 2,100 for a whole day's work. Actually, it's 2,128.16. on the TV, so. 
Time for the nails. Go on. of armed robberies occurred today in the Chicago area. Two men and one woman held up a liquor store this morning and escaped capture. Police believe it's the same trio that went on to rob six more convenience stores in an all-day crime spree. Police estimate the robbers got away with over $10,000. That's bullshit. They always lie about the take. Insurance fraud. Everybody's crooked. Everybody. Police have compiled this sketch of the trio. <laughs> Isn't that stupid? Those drawings never look like anybody. In the history of the world, they've never caught a criminal based on those stupid things. Shh. Nine to nine store manager, Bahajudpreet Tejadur Pret, <laughs> who's been robbed more than 10 times. I know times, that guy. Fucking bear shit's in the I've been robbed by the best thieves in Chicago. These are, these are amateurs. Fuck him. <laughs> The getaway car was a cream-colored station wagon believed to be a Buick. Ah, oh, shit. In other news. <laughs> they know our car. They don't know anything. They've got no license number, no photos, no names. Detroit made 10 zillion of those cars. Relax. Anyway, tomorrow we'll use my car. You're saddling up to him. I'm not sidling. You sat beside him, Les. You cooked his meat. Sam, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. We're both scared of him, and we have a right to be. He's dangerous. He's crazy, and he's making us crazy. I'm so sorry. Register, man. Let's go. Come on, hurry up, hurry up. Don't do anything stupid. Getting the hang of it, Sam. What kind of gun is this? The kind that scares people. Hey, give me. Yeah, what kind? It's a star, caliber 9mm Parabellum semi automatic pistol, model 30B double action made in Spain. And it's 39.6 8 ounces and has a 4 inch barrel. It fires a 120 grain metal jacketed bullet at a muzzle velocity of 1,247 feet per second. Okay, now give me the fucking gun. So give me the fucking gun. Nine millimeter. Sam, what's happening to us? I watched you today. You liked that gun. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Shut up, Leslie. Sammy. No, oh, shut the fuck up. Get the money. Fuck Family needs too much. Get the fuck. 
fucking money now. No. God damn you. Chicago is a natural sir. That's at $5,295.52. It's not a bad haul. You still have an outstanding balance of $5,988.32 and only one day left. Turn on the TV, Sam. It's time for the news. Don't you turn it on yourself? <sighs> OK, Sam. The threesome struck again today, robbing ten different establishments in Cook County. It's only one day. It's going to be a record, that. Chief Johnson said he's never seen such a desperate run of robberies. The getaway car they're using now is a black Lincoln with no license plate. If caught, the two men and one woman faced armed robbery charges, which carries a 20 to 50 year prison term. Actually, when Leslie pistol whipped the old chink, she up the ante to robbery with aggravated assault. That carries life. I made you do it, but I didn't make you like it, did I? It wasn't me made your panties wet when you were robbing those people, was it, Leslie? Fuck you, all right? I will not let you do that!
grabbed my pistol so you could get me gone. What? You offended, I rejected your offering of pussy. to bed, Leslie. Start downtown. Make our way south to Cicero. Score. We hit a bank. Too risky. Banks are out of your league. That kind of job requires preparation, planning. You got to know the layout, the routines. Yeah, it's over your head, son. The bank I'm thinking about, I know everything I need to know. We'll stick to the small stuff, okay? What's the matter? Ain't you got the stomach for it? I want finished with this shit. I'll never be able to pull in $5,988.32 sticking to the small stuff. Are you giving me a time extension? Is that it? You giving me a pass? Okay, Sam. You get your bank. What? Have you got any clean panty hose? Thanks for a two man job. I'm going in there with you. We've got no longer than three minutes, okay? Leslie, you keep the motor running and you stay cool. No more games. Or Sam, he pays the price. A little late for fucking games. Hero and you're killed. Down on the fucking floor! Everybody! Bag up the money! Yes, sir. Bag it up! Nobody moves! Open the vault! You stay still here! Yeah? I'm a fucking lot here! Yeah. You get that! Get out of the fucking shit! Fucking move! Come on, move it! Fucking get that. Leave them on your run! Your arm's been tripped, you'll go to prison! What the fuck are you doing? Move! Now! You fucking stay down! Come on! Come on!
$5,988.32. There it is. Now, are we done with it? That's right, sir. Our business is finished. Give me the gun. I said, give me the gun. Give me the fucking gun, Sam. And I'll hurt you really fucking badly this time. Do you believe me? Yeah, I believe. <laughs> you don't got a stomach for it. Mr. Mr. you don't know what the fuck I have a stomach for. What do you expect to accomplish with no fucking bullets, you Barney fuck? Sammy. Hey, you make a move for your other gun and I'll kill you. You believe me? Yeah. Huh? You believe, motherfucker? Yeah, I believe. Goddamn right you do. What's your name? What? Your name. I want to know your fucking name. Fine. Pike? Pike what? Cubic. Pike Cubic.
bizarre incident was reported by police today. Over $15,000 has been anonymously returned to over 27 convenience stores, 9 and 9 stores, and grocery marts, with over 10000 returned to Park and Savings Bank in repayment for the rash of robberies that occurred last week. It appears the robbers experienced remorse and sent the exact amount of stolen cash back to each establishment. The robbers even sent extra money to two persons whom were hurt during the course of the crimes. An older Asian woman and a savings and loan manager. A police Asshole. spokesman said the case would remain open, but detectives harbor little hope in solving it. All efforts to apprehend the criminals, two men and one woman, have failed. In other news, families keep in touch with text messages. Show you how we doubled our D. 